Hey there, my name is Nicole Young from NicoleZ.com, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can create your own custom preset and then use that preset to batch apply to more than one photograph at a time. Let's go ahead and get started. This is an image of my niece, Ashlyn, and I have a few other photographs that I'd also like to edit with whatever look I end up creating here. I'm gonna start out by adding a filter. I'll scroll up to the top and I'm gonna choose that Accent AI filter. I'll move the boost to the right at about 20 or so. This filter is a really good way to give your image a really good boost of brightness. Next, I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom. And in the professional section, I'm gonna select LUT mapping. LUT stands for lookup table, and it's basically a file that contains pre-created color and tone enhancements. With this filter, you can either load a custom LUT file or you can add one that is pre-installed into Luminar, and that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. I'm gonna scroll down and select Manhattan. This gives the image a little bit of a faded and kind of a neat bluish tone. But I am going to reduce the amount slightly, just to soften the effect. And I'm also going to drop the saturation just a smidge to give the image a little bit more of a retro feel. Next, I'm gonna add an Orton effect filter. I'm gonna move the amount slider to the right, and this adds a little bit of a burst of color and contrast and brightness, a lot of really good things. Lastly, I'm gonna go up to the brilliance and warmth slider, and I'm gonna move that warmth slider to the right to kind of counteract some of the blue tones that were added from that LUT mapping filter. I like what I have going on here. Let me just do a quick before and after toggle, and I think this looks great. Now what I'd like to do is create a preset using all of the filters that I just added right here. Now when you create a preset, it's going to pull the filters on whichever layer that you're on. In this case, I've only used one layer, so all of the filters I've added will save with the preset. First, I'm gonna make sure I can view that preset pane, and in the category, you wanna make sure that you have the user presets selected. That way you can see the preset after you create it. Then on the bottom right, I'm gonna choose Save Filters Preset. I'm gonna call this one Ashlyn and click create new preset. Now I'm ready to batch edit my other images. I'm gonna click on this little open dropdown and select batch processing. I can either drag and drop images or folders onto this open window or I can click the browse button to select them individually. I have some images on my desktop so I'm just gonna go ahead and select all of these photos and click open. I'm only going to batch process these four images, so I'll go ahead and click continue. Next, I need to select my batch edit settings. In this case, the primary thing I want to do is add my newly created preset. I'm gonna select user from the list and then make sure I have that Ashen preset selected. I'll go ahead and save these into a new folder inside of that original folder and click open, and I'll leave all the rest of the settings as is. Then I'll go ahead and click continue. Luminar will go through and batch each of these images and add that preset that I just created. The batch process is finished, so let's go ahead and see how those photos turned out. Each of these photos now has that same preset applied, making them nice and uniform with each other so they go well as a group.